Get it, boys. Oh, shit. Reloading. Oh, oh, and then I got shot in the butt. Oh, I was like, dude, I got both of those. And I did, but I still died. Oh, what a heartbreaker. Hello there again, minions. It's Wheezy. Welcome back to my top five Call of Duty games of all time. We have arrived at number one. In my opinion, the greatest Call of Duty ever made. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019. This game just took everything that I loved about the Call of Duty series, dialed it in, and did it almost perfectly. There's, We'll go through and talk about what I like about this game, and I'm trying to think about the things that I don't like about it. There's always going to be some things that are irritating about a Call of Duty game, but this is the nearest to perfection we've seen in Call of Duty. And my number two was Call of Duty Black Ops, which was a fantastic Call of Duty game in the same realm, almost did everything perfectly. First thing that we're going to do is jump over, look at the maps, because maps make or break a Call of Duty game in a lot of ways. Um, we'll skip over some of these, like, smaller maps. Al Rob, this one is interesting in that I remember, I think they released this one after the full life cycle of Modern Warfare ended, but it's actually a good map, plays really well. Uh, Onion Incursion is one of the ground war maps, although it is a good uh, map, or is that Palace? These kind of plays in the larger ground war maps um, that are good. Arklov Peak was fun playing some Capture the Flag on. Superstore is actually a really good one. Uh, Atrium, I think, is a smaller one. Azir Cave. A lot of people hate Azir Cave. I think it's a decent map. It's not like one of my favorites. I definitely don't hate it. I think it's a decent map. Uh, Bizarre, I think, is a 2v2. Broadcast, a remake from the DLC map from the original COD 4. Uh, another good map, plays really well. Cargo is a smaller one. Cheshire Park is actually plays really well. I like this. You'll see the trend here. One thing they returned back to more in Modern Warfare 2019 that was great about these maps is the traditional three-lane maps. Modern Warfare 2, the sequel to this, not the original Modern Warfare 2, although it, it as well broke a lot more from those traditional three-lane maps. Crash, a classic, great one. Um, Drainage, sm some of the smaller ones. Uh, Euphrates Bridge, this was unbalanced. It was in the game at launch. I think they took it out of matchmaking because of how unbalanced it was. It was a neat little map, but definitely got unbalanced. Uh, Grozna Raid. Man, I I always forget about that one being in this game, but this actually plays pretty really well for objective games, too. I like that one. Um, the Gulag is a smaller one. Uh, Gunrunner, great map. Hackney Yard, really great map. Uh, Hard Hat is also a great map. Hill was one of those, like, 2v2s. Hovex Sawmill, this is one of my favorites. This is probably one of the ones that stands out in my mind as uh, Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare 2019, like, classic map. Kandor Hideout, another great one. Kill House, a remake, classic. Kill House in this Call of Duty plays the best of any of them that I've seen. Still a bit clusterfucky, but, uh, but plays well. Livestock, I haven't got to play on much. Um, I forget if it's just in certain objective modes, but I remember enjoying it. Tank Factory is one of those where it's, uh, I enjoy it, it's not bad. It's probably a little big for my taste, but it's okay. Oil Rig is fun, can be a little strange. I actually really enjoy Piccadilly. It went through a couple, at least one, maybe two reworks, um, but I feel like Piccadilly is actually a really solid map. It gets a lot of hate. Uh, Ramaza is another good map. Rust, never been a huge fan of Rust. This is kind of like barely less cancer than Shipment. Scrapyard, a classic from Modern Warfare 2. Uh, I like that map, plays well. Shipment, Shipment's Cancer, it has a purpose. Shoot House, plays well, I like Shoot House in this. Uh, Speedball, that must be one of the 2v2 versions. St. Petrograd, another good map. A lot of these things are just like, you jump into these maps, Soldal Harbor's a good one. Backlot, a classic COD format, plays really well. Um, that just plays really well. Vacant, again, this one is a good map. It plays well. I don't know why it keeps coming back in so many Call of Duty games. I don't think it's so good that it needs to come back. Crash, every time Crash comes back, it makes sense because Crash is amazing. And so many. You see versus like the new Modern Warfare 2. So many maps and there's not, even though I have my favorites and ones that I don't like as much, there's not a single map in this game when I get loaded into it that I'm like, oh, I really don't want to play this map. And there's a bunch in the new Modern Warfare 2. Oh, where they do that. So let's see. We can jump over to the barracks real quick. See where records. Okay. 12 days in this game spent, 12 days, 17 hours. I think the only, maybe the only Call of Duty I might have more time in. I think I have like 20 days in COD 4, something like that. 
uh, and I forget what it is for Modern Warfare 2, but somewhere probably in that ballpark, 12, 14 days. But 12 days in this game. Win-loss just over one. This is where EOMM probably started to jump in a little bit more, although it didn't feel as egregious in Modern Warfare 2019 as it does in Modern Warfare 2. 1.36 KD. Emblems, calling card. A lot of really good customization. A really good weapon variety. Uh, just a really fantastic game. So Will... Uh, I've got my unicorny kit set up as my primary. We're going to go ahead and use that to start out with. I've also got my uh, my Ripley <laughs> character. Actually, do I have... Yeah, I got my calling card. Yeah. I, I really enjoyed the customization in this game. I liked... Uh, I spent a good amount of money in the shop on this game for skins that I liked just because I was spending mo so much time in this game. I really enjoyed the game. And so putting more money into it felt like just kind of like turn it up to 11. I like this game so much, you guys may remember, because I'm playing it right now on my Series X, but I bought Modern Warfare on the PS4, and that's where I played most of it during its life cycle. My Modern Warfare disc, for whatever reason, still plays in my old PS4 and my PS4 Pro, but it won't play in my PS5. And so I considered like, oh, should I try and repair the disc, get a new one? So what I did is I bought Modern Warfare again, on the Xbox, so I have the digital version for my Xbox as well, just so I could jump in and play it anytime I want. The Series X has become kind of my console of choice for cross-platform for this cycle. PS5 has great original games, but for jumping on, playing a game, uh, Series X is, is great. Ooh, that's loud. Uh, another great thing about this, talking about good stuff for Modern Warfare, this has the best, most satisfying gunplay of any Call of Duty. The guns feel significant. They don't feel like airsoft guns like they did in Cold War. They feel they feel like you're shooting guns. They feel like you've got recoil. And it just is a, a really just solid gunplay. Um, negatives, this game did really kind of reintroduce some of the stupid movement mechanics around like halo jumping is all over the place here which ooh, i don't like the time to kill in this game despite some of the the one hit kill weapons um is a little bit slower so it's good it's probably not as slow as the original black ops so it could probably benefit from even a little bit less i see you there but it's almost just perfect, right? Like, it's not super fast. Reloading. Um, and it's enough that you can kind of react, play tactically. He knew it. He read that one and hit it with the RPG. Oh, this game's already almost over. And it also seems like the frame rate is being a little jittery right now. I know there's been some weird updates on this. Another thing that is a negative for Modern Warfare that isn't Modern Warfare's fault is this was the first game when Warzone came out where Activision in their greed to maximize profit the actual quality of Modern Warfare's multiplayer on multiple occasions got worse because of changes made to Warzone so this was like the first called it was such a great game and the fact that the multiplayer literally got worse through its life cycle because of Warzone is really fucking irritating. And I believe there's probably still an aspect of that too. This little bit of frame jitteriness and the stupid movement, a lot of that comes from uh, the influence of Warzone on the game. Uh, I'm irritated that it dropped me into Imagine Progress. I've been doing two games for these. I got kind of dumped into that one. We'll do two anyway, just because there's a lot to love here. Look at that. Jumped into a fucking garbage pail. Three and seven. Fantastic. What's the other shit about UMM for this? Is even though I was in a lobby, instead of just continuing me to the next lobby, it's going to find me an entirely new match, and so it may drop me into another match in progress. Get UMM out of your goddamn games, Call of Duty, okay? Just enough of this shit. We don't need it. Thank you. But yeah, just so much to love about this game. Great maps, great weapons, great gunplay. A bunch of executions, like I got my doggy with me right now. <laughs> yeah, I cannot say enough good things about this game. Let's see, uh, let's run Unicorny again. 
just... This is the last skin pack, I think, I bought uh, in, in Modern Warfare. And it was just too perfect. I mean, come on now. A unicorn skin pack with uh, rainbow tracers and a Pegasus unicorn emblem. This game is inspect animations. I think Modern Warfare, I think this game was the first one to include weapon inspects, maybe. But fantastic. Like, just, yeah, so much to love about this game. Modern movement. You got tack sprint, sliding. I don't like the jumping. I've talked about that enough, <laughs> I think, in general, for people to understand the point. But for a tactical game like this, being able to jump and shoot. This, this is not the best M13 build in the world, by the way. But it does have the most unicorns, so that's why we're running it. Kill confirmed. We have control. Crush them. Yeah, just bobbin feels a little significant right now. I think I do remember that coming back to this game that the view bobbing is a bit more disorienting and significant than I remembered playing it, but maybe my brain just adapted to not getting shaken around as much. Oh, shit! That frag fell out of my hand there. Yeah, good. Most For the most part, three lane map designs in this. The maps all played really well. So much replayability. It's like I said, none of the maps just feel like garbage. I saw- oh. Motherfucker jumping. I was like, I saw him peeking right as I was trying to call in my field upgrade. About to point out how nice it was that the field upgrade call-ins were instant in this. And then I kind of fumbled it. Peek out. Well, that was quite a throw. Amazing that a tiny bit of fire caused that car to just completely explode like that, but what are you going to do? Jesus, that was sloppy. Friendly care package inbound. Reloading. Is there still a guy up there? You, you respawned by now. You're... Kill you should be gone. Enemy UAV overhead. Oh, that's a friendly. God, dude, look behind you. Reloading. Oh, good God. Allies advanced UAV overhead. Oh, that's ugly. Where's your funny front friend? Funny friend, friend, friend. Get it, boys. Oh, shit. Reloading. Oh, oh, and then I got shot in the butt. Oh, I was like, did I got both of those? And I did, but I still died. Oh, what a heartbreaker. He's up there. A lot of alternate routes, which are really cool. Like the ability to flank power positions. There's just so much. So much to love about Modern Warfare. Ow. Blinded. Are you pushing around still? Maybe up the street. Get my flank. Shit. No, 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 no. <laughs> I pushed that too hard. I was like, use that, use that silence. Reloading. Reloading. I'm gonna push this way. Nope! Oh! I got below the mine, but I did not get that guy. Below the guy's bullets. Reloading! They're gonna push around here. Use that frag to discourage him. Oh, I saw him sliding around just at that last second. Had a shotgun. Oh, come and rescue that. Oh, 
Oh. See if there's a guy just sitting up there. Nope. Where's your buddy? I hear him around there. We are losing ground. Fuck. Kill confirmed. Reloading. Getting a little sick of whoever keeps doing this. Ah! Didn't hear his footsteps, so then I heard those other footsteps. Kill confirmed. Load's done! Reloading. Enemy UAV Shit. overhead. Kill confirmed. I like that uh when you use your dead silence, if you actually kill people, it extends it. Oh, I thought I got out of that. So that you're not just like sitting there camping with it. Like there's just so many good ideas in this game. Yeah, sorry dude, no thank you. Oh, they need to get out of this fucking building. I can't believe they're fucking winning. What is my team doing? Oh. Ow. Yeah, you go get him. Get out there. Oh, they're coming up behind. I hear badness. Nope, I see you in the window. Nope, nope. Oh, come on! That was a kill. There's no way. Oh, I hopped up and got this right on his face. Excuse me? What the fuck was that? There is no fucking way that that was a death. All right. Well, we're gonna lose this one, unfortunately. Enough of this. Oh back. God, we're such such a good game. The best Call of Duty of all time. Every time I come back to this, the main the main reason that I haven't come back to this more, despite how amazing it is, Modern Warfare 2 has had more weapons that I've just been unlocking, and I do like that process of unlocking new weapons and uh, unlocking their attachments and stuff like that, but. But fundamentally, I can come back and infinitely replay this. doesn't matter if I'm doing camo challenges or this, that, or the other. It's just a good game. So we'll do one more game and call that a wrap on our top five. Uh, looks like for miscellaneous, I was running the Naked AN-94. Naked weapon challenges. So, you know, let's run an a, a Naked AN-94 on Hovex Sawmill. I think, I'm trying to think. This may be my favorite map in Modern Warfare. <clears throat> I think it just may be. Team Deathmatch. All right. Got enemy inbound. Lock and load. All the little there, little right. angles you can use, the kind of parkour routes in this game. There's just so much about this game to kind of like learn and use. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, how's he? I gotta get out of here. How's that guy not dead? Is that a guy that's upstairs? I need to find another angle. Sorry, no safety in here. Oh no, there's a sniper sitting over there. What a heartbreaker. What a heartbreaker. Ooh, this thing has a pretty darn slow time to kill. All right, let's do that. Oh, good copy. Enemies behind, enemies in front. <laughs> Thought my teammates going into that side meant that they were getting pushed out of that spawn. They were not. Let's 
see if he's flanking around. You got big brains, you got little brains. I don't know where you went. You must got big brains, maybe? Nope, you got little brains. <laughs> Just found a different corner to hide in. Alright. Oh, that was a quick death. Quick death. Alright, where are we at? Probably reload a little bit too obsessively in this game still. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh my god. Probably shouldn't have stayed out there to challenge that that long, but... I knew I was right there for that kill. Let's see if I can get over here. Oh, and of course I get third partied. I am so pissed at how much this game got worse because of Warzone and shit after launch. Instead of just... Instead of just getting better throughout its life cycle. It's like the first Call of Duty where they were like, Yeah, I know you guys paid full price for this game, but we're going to actively make it worse because we're going to try and pump a bunch of content into the free-to-play piece of it. I know you're over there. Yes! Give me that! There we go. That's how we wrap it up with the last kill on my favorite map. That... I'm like, I see you there. Get that wall bang. Force him out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is the best Call of Duty ever made. It's not perfect. There are just a few little things that I would have fixed to make it absolutely perfect that is what I wanted them to do for Modern Warfare 2. Take the little things that were broken that needed a little tweaking and fix them. And instead they went the other way and they took a lot of the great stuff about this and made it worse. Modern Warfare 2 has a faster time to kill, has worse maps, has more of an emphasis on the free-to-play aspect of the game that keeps fucking with the core game. Just all of these things that are just like, I wish they had just taken what was great about Modern Warfare 2019 and fixed it. So I'm hoping, although I'm not going to put money on it, Hopefully for Modern Warfare 3, 2023, they'll take what worked about Modern Warfare 2, which was not a whole lot that was new. It was really the good stuff for Modern Warfare 2019. And go back to Modern Warfare 2019, just do what they should have done, make it a little bit better. Bring, us, bring back good Call of Duty maps. Give us all the original Modern Warfare 2 maps. Give us the original COD 4 maps. Just don't even worry about trying to make new maps. I mean, you can if you want to, but make them three lane maps. And do what works in Call of Duty. A variety of weapons, a moderate time to kill that gives you time to respond, three lane maps with good flanking routes and the ability to move tactically, and not making every game a fucking try hard battle against, <laughs> against EOMM. All right, minions, if you enjoyed my top five Call of Duties of all time, you can leave me a like. If you guys have a different top five, post a comment saying, what's your top five? Uh, Call of Duties. We don't have to agree. This is mine. This is. I don't believe this is objectively. These are the best talk, Call of Duties of all time. My favorite Call of Duties of all time. Uh, I may do another video to talk about the other ones that I excluded, uh, or or why they didn't make this list. For a lot of them, it's just they're futuristic -y and I don't fucking like them, or they're World War II, and I don't like them. But yeah, if you guys didn't like my top five and you think I'm completely stupid, you can leave me a dislike. Subscribe if you're new around here, and I will see you guys in the next one.